Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to my weekly GTA 5 countdown series. So last week we had the top 5 passive mode kills and this week we're taking a look at the top 10 must own weapons in GTA Online. So if you want to wreck noobs in GTA Online, this is definitely an episode you want to look out for. Make sure you have every one of these weapons in your arsenal. Also, usually I give out one of these to the winner of each episode, but since this isn't a user submitted um, episode, I'm going to be giving it out to one of you guys in the comments as a copy of the Gaming Guinness World Records 2017 edition. All you have to do if you want to get your chance to win is leave a comment on this video with your favourite weapon in GTA Online and I'll pick one of you guys at random in a couple of days to win this. So without further ado, let's get into the top 10 must own weapons. At the number 10 spot is this special carbine. Now this assault rifle came way back in the business update and it is a super easy one for low level players to unlock since it's a level 0 unlock. However, it's not the best weapon for this slot, I'll get into the best one a bit later in this video, but if you're just starting out in GT Online, this one is um, a lot better than the Assault Rifle. For the most part, it's a pretty solid choice for most situations. Each bullet is going to do you 32 damage, and it's really effective against NPCs and players, and just generally a very well-balanced weapon for most situations. At the number 9 spot is the Sweeper Shotgun. This one is still relatively new, it was introduced in the Biker DLC, and the great thing about this weapon is the fact that it can be used while on a bike. So it's a pretty deadly weapon when it's used effectively, and I've got to say it's actually pretty fun to use for kind of biker drive-bys. Each shot is actually going to spread into 6 bullets, and then each bullet is going to do 27 damage when landed. It's worth bearing in mind when you compare the Sweeper Shotgun to the other shotguns, however, it does actually have lower damage and a bigger spread, so it's not as effective as the other shotguns. However, it did make it into this list because it can be used well on a bike, so it's well deserving to be made into this list. At the number 8 spot is the Combat MG. You'll need rank 80 in GT Online to unlock this bad boy, and if you've ever used this thing, the chances are you probably already know why this weapon is a must own. It pops a powerful 45 damage per shot, so it definitely packs a punch. The Combat MG is actually the most powerful in-slot weapon that you can own in GT Online, and I tend to actually use this one for kind of emergency situations only, because you know, when you pull out this thing, it's just going to be able to tear through enemies when you give it the opportunity. Moving on to the number 7 spot is the Heavy Revolver. This one was added as part of the business update and of course I say, man, I absolutely love this gun. The Heavy Revolver does 160 damage per shot, which makes it one of the most powerful pistols um, that you could own in your pistol slot. This weapon is actually really effective when it's kind of shot from cover, and it's also really effective if you want to just pick off enemies, um, even when you're in a vehicle, it's a one-shot headshot kill. Next up is the Assault Shotgun, another one of my personal favourites. This one unlocks at level 37 in GT Online and is probably the best shotgun that money can buy. Each shot will spread into 6 pellets and each pellet will do 32 damage um, if it lands, so you can do up to 192 damage if every pellet lands. Now the thing that makes this weapon so great in GT Online is obviously the fully automatic firing mode for a shotgun. Now the firing um, rate is actually higher than a lot of the handguns with the exception of the AP pistol. The assault shotgun also has a reload time of just 2 seconds which is reasonably short for a shotgun. One drawback for this weapon used to actually be the magazine size, however you can now buy an extended mag for this one, making it an absolute machine, so I'd say that was a pretty must own accessory for this weapon. And yeah, the assault shotgun is just absolutely deadly when you're using it in short ranges, and even taking out vehicles of full players, you know, this thing's an absolute machine. I mean, what other weapon would you want to pull out when you have a full insurgent of players rolling up to you? At the number 5 spot is the Heavy Sniper. This weapon is based off the Barrett Rifle and is arguably the best sniper that you can use in GT Online. It does have a smaller magazine size than the standard rifle with only 6 bullets, however it does have a faster rate of fire. According to the GTA Online Wiki, it can also one hit players in the chest up to rank 99 and it can also do substantial damage to vehicles, um, I believe you can take out the tail rotor of a helicopter in just 2 shots. The Heavy Sniper also has the second highest bullet damage of any weapon in GTA Online with a staggering 216 damage per bullet and I believe the only weapon that beats this is the Marksman Pistol. At the number 4 spot are Sticky Bombs and they require rank 19 to be able to buy. And there's not really a lot I can say about Sticky Bombs, it's essentially a remote sticky device um, that deals with any potential problems quickly and effectively. 
And chances are, if you've spent much time in GT Online at all, then you've probably been blown up by these things a few times already, and they'll just stick to any vehicle, so it's a really popular choice for drive-bys. Even something like the armoured Karuma, which can be a hard vehicle to take down with um, normal bullets, can actually just be one hit with the sticky bomb. Now usually in my countdowns I include a bonus clip, but in today's countdown it's going to have to be a bonus gun. Now I couldn't decide between the flare gun or the firework launcher for this, so I decided to include a little clip of them both. Now although the damage on these two things aren't too impressive, you know, there's nothing more fun than just kind of messing around with friends. Uh, you know, messing around with these things. Flare gun death matches never really get old. So, yeah, I, I definitely um, include these in here because they're a must own weapon for kind of more fun moments with your friends. Moving on to the number 3 spot is the homing launcher. Now this one was introduced as part of the festive surprise update and cost 75,000. And these rockets can actually chase down even the fastest jets in the game. Now I know a lot of people might not actually like this weapon, but it is pretty essential for taking down NPC helicopters. You know, if you've got the police after you, it's quite easy and quickly to, to take out a helicopter. However, I would like to say if you do get this weapon, you know, don't go around shooting everything out of the sky because nobody likes that guy. But if there are any sort of suspicious jets kicking around your lobby, then this weapon is probably going to be enough to scare them off you. And also, just as a tip when using it, this, the homing launcher, is most effective from vehicles escaping rather than vehicles coming towards you. This is because the rockets are actually easier to dodge when they're coming towards you than if you're flying away from them, so yeah, tend to use this more from vehicles that are flying away from you. At the very honourable number 2 spot is the Advanced Rifle. This one unlocks at level 70 and is considered by most players the best assault rifle that you can use in GT Online. This weapon has the highest per shot damage in the assault rifle class with 34 damage. I think there's only one other assault rifle that does 31, 34 damage as well per bullet. However, the advanced rifle does have a slightly higher rate of fire than the assault rifle and the carbine rifle. Some good attachments for this weapon are the scope and also the extended clip to keep it firing for longer. And it is personal preference, but I usually also equip a suppressor on this one. Of course, suppressors do reduce your damage and range a bit, but you know there are a few stealth, um, you know, car steel missions where you can actually use um, stealth weapons. And personally, I like to roll with the advanced rifle as my kind of stealth weapon, and then I'll have something maybe like the combat MG for you know when shit hits the fan and I need to take out a lot of players. And that leaves us with the number one must-own weapon in GT Online, and it has to go to the AP pistol. This is probably the most versatile weapon in the whole game. You can extend the magazine size of the AP pistol to 36 and it'll do 25 damage per shot. So the, yeah, this weapon just generally has fantastic accuracy. It's got a really high rate of fire with 600 rounds per minute and it's a very cheap, you know, common ammunition as well, making it, um, you know, a fantastic weapon for drive-bys. Especially when you attach the extended clip to this weapon, it'll, you know, definitely trump the SMG for in-car fire. And the, you know, the SMG in my opinion just fires very inaccurately and it empties too quickly so I didn't even include it in this list. You know, the AP pistol is generally the best one for drive-bys. So yeah, with that being said, the AP pistol had to make it to the number one spot on my list. Um, it's just effective at every situation presented. Be sure to let me know your favourite weapon down in the comments section below. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be picking one of you guys to win a prize. So you gotta be in it to win it, right? And of course, if you did enjoy this video, please take a few seconds to leave it a like, and also subscribe if you're new around here, I do one of these countdowns every single week. I'll also include two of my most recent videos with my top 10 must-own weapons in GT Online, and another video that you might enjoy on my channel. So have yourselves an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah.